Okay, so we are officially now setting up the cage for the Amazon tree boa, Lucy. So the moment we've all been waiting for, I've been really excited to go ahead and give Lucy a little bit of an upgrade. We're still building her three foot by two foot by two foot cage, so stay tuned for that. But I did want to give her something just a little bit nicer. I was tired of looking at her in a boring basic setup. So I want to give her something a little bit nicer, uh, you know, to bridge the gap between this and her new enclosure. So first, we're going to start with substrate. The first substrate that we're going to use is a little bit of EcoWorth. I just like EcoWorth as a substrate, especially good for holding humidity. Sometimes you do have to be careful. Uh, it, it does tend to mold a little bit easier, so you want to make sure that, you know, once, maybe twice a month, get in here and stir it around. Or if you want to go the bioactive way, you can do that as well. I'll be doing that in the future for the custom cages that I build. You should now have just a nice fine layer, about an inch of Eco Earth here. Lucky for me, in the plant box, I've had just the best substrate ever growing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that in here and that'll help enrich the plants. I went over it a little bit in the Savannah Monitor video that I did, but I'll do a full in-depth guide of my favorite soil ever. And it's just one that I kind of mix a bunch of soils together and is great. Get in there and start mixing it all up, making it nice even throughout. All right, so now is where we kind of start the hardscape as well. We're gonna place a couple pieces of our wood where we think we're gonna want them, um, as well as the rocks. Uh, we wanna keep in mind that the Amazon tree boa is a basking snake and they love to sit out and perch. So you wanna create a good area for them to be able to bask and perch on and really just enjoy your snake. And I'm also gonna add a couple of rocks in here. I like this big bolsterous one and I've got a little bit smaller one here as well. I think we are going to make this tree stand up pretty tall like that. One more thing that I think we're going to do is fill in this area here with a little bit of pebbles. We're also going to top it off with a little bit more eco earth. And as we go, you'll see this just start to come to life. I like how there's some big bolsterous rocks over there, but these rocks are the same color as well. Uh, so we're going to build up a little terrace looking thing. We're gonna need a little bit more eco earth as well. Next, we're gonna make the hide. I went ahead, cut some PVC, cut off the bottom of a small, uh, cut off the bottom of a small planter pot, taped it together real quick. We're gonna go down and shove this into the substrate down here. Cork bark tube on top of that. Try and find the best way that it will hide this contraption. Next, we're gonna add some small pieces of slate around the hide, just kind of give it a more distinct look. Having these pieces of slate will also help the snake shed when it's time for him to do so. The hardscape's in, We've got the hide over here. This is the perching over here. These vines won't really hold the snake up, but once the plants take off, it'll give them something to hold on to. And now we're just gonna start planting the guy. Alrighty, so we have it planted. Um, turns out I don't really need to use these fake plants anyways. Once, you know, give this a month, maybe two at most, everything finally grows in. This will be really thick and really nice for the Amazon tree boa. Don't ask me what any of these plants are called. I bought them at my pet shop and they were all reptile safe. So said the pet store workers. Um, I guess that one over there, I do know. That's a pothos, pretty basic. Also do have a little bit of just common grass here. Have a little bit of moss over here. A little bit different kind of moss. After you have the cage planted, the next thing that you're going to want to do is add the final layer of substrate. That's going to be the aesthetic layer of substrate. It may serve a couple of benefits here or there, but mostly it's for aesthetics. So we're going to put in the water dish first, just because there's something I want to do with the final aesthetic uh, substrate. 
that I think will look pretty cool with the water dish there. I'm gonna be using two types of vinyl substrate. Uh, the river pebble, again, I love that kind of stuff. Hey, look, I didn't use one of those. We'll throw that in. Um, and then the forest floor bedding by Zoomed as well. Put it in the water dish. Putting the river pebble in the water dish really doesn't matter since your snake isn't gonna drink the standing water anyways. You're gonna have to mainly hydrate this kind of a snake by spraying the plants and spraying the glass on the cage. All right, cool. So we got the river pebble in. We're gonna go ahead and start spreading out the forest floor or really it's just some cypress mulch. This one comes pre-wet, which I really like. We're gonna start by sprinkling it in the back and then brushing it towards the foreground of the cage. This will kind of keep it from going in places that we don't really want it to go. Final layer of substrate in here now. We're gonna go ahead and add some water to the watering area. And then I think it's time to add the snake. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I need those likes. And if you feel so inclined, subscribe to stay tuned for Tuesday's video.